Hey, while you're in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like, and subscribe. What club was that at? <laughs> that was admit that uh, a lot of people don't even realize they I've called her, she hasn't responded. I've called her more than a few times. But the Zulu nation, I'm like, what the hell is this? I know nobody know what I'm talking about. You'll leave me on the island by myself. I don't know what the hell Bishop's talking about. That's what y'all do. Then after class, yeah, I knew what you were talking about. I just don't want to be caught out there. The hell is this? Get on my damn nerves. So read that again. So we are here trying to show you who you are according to the Bible. Your true nationality is an Israelite. We have lost our minds and our history. That's what happened. That's why our communities are the way they are. Because everybody is basically crazy because we lost our minds from living in chaos like the officer brought out. Living in drug infested neighborhoods. Think that's normal? Family kids? So we are here showing the importance of the family structure though. Because when you see in our community, we don't have a family structure, do we? No, our families are dilapidated. We have no mom and dad in the house. Nobody is raising the kids. The government is raising our kids. Single mom, because we all got to work on ourselves. You believe, in, you believe in the Bible? What it says, what did God say to do? He said, we all got to be reborn, right? Everybody got to change. But we say we love we we say we love God though, right? But how do you love God, fam? How do you love God? That's how love God. But let me come come around over here. Let me show you how you love Him, bro. It's a tangible way. You have to show me a a way in which God wants to be loved, right? It's not something you could just say out your mouth. Right. I could say I love my wife, but if I hit her in the head every day. That's not showing love. Right. So read what you got. Read. It's the book of 1 John, chapter 5 and verse 3. For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not grievous. Read that again. For this is the love of God. So sis, I got a question for you. I know. I don't want to put you on the spot. Do you love God? You do? I'm going to ask you this. Listen to this. What's the definition of love according to God? According to the Bible. All right. All right. You close. You close. But let me let me show you something. Read what you got. First John chapter five and verse three. For this is the love of God that we keep His commandments, and His commandments are not grievous. Do you know God commandments? So is it more than just ten commandments? So give me a, give me one give me one that's not of the ten commandments then. When, you don't know so can we eat pork can women wear pants A according to the bible according to the bible not according to your mind well let's get let's get that in the bible so since you're gonna hear it today what's your name laverne angel come on angel check this out angel Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are an abomination to the Lord thy God. The woman shall not wear which pertaineth unto a man. So a woman is not supposed to wear that which pertains to a man. And a man is not supposed to wear what pertains to a woman. What pertains to a woman? But Moses, what? But so look, what, I'm gonna get. You, I'm gonna answer that question. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, bro. Angel, hold on though. You gotta. What did that say though? You said Moses wear. So since you have on pants, that's not no woman's garment. That's supposed to be underneath your clothes. That's not supposed to be out white. We're not supposed to be able to see your your shape. Yes, he's supposed to wear a dress over this because that's a woman's garment is a dress. Pants, zip, what, you got a zipper on those pants? What you gonna do, what is a zipper for? No, 
What is a zipper for, Leroy? You know what a zipper for. What's a zipper for? Sir, what's a, what did we use a zipper for? You, you say what? She know what's going on. You know what's going on too. Bring it on. So according to the Bible, it's an abomination. This is how you show that you love God. You hear the word of God and you change the way you think. That's what you're supposed to do. It's not you're supposed to figure out a way how to keep doing what you're doing. You put on stockings. That's what you do. Quit. Let's find a way to do the right thing and not figure out a way how not to do it. We have to stay within the, the mind frame of what God wants for us. So what's your name, brother? Steve. Steve, how you doing? All right, so you got any questions about what we're teaching? Hey, good. Well, my brother is for life. He said I'm Israelite. for life. And okay. I didn't want to, I ain't going to lie. I, I ain't got time. I got to pick up my son, but I wanted to Take get a phone. program. So that's all right. I ain't going to lie. I'm not just joining this because y'all brother, I'm joining because I know y'all were confident in me. Okay, I'll praise you. So look, let me show you. This is our information on the back right here. That's our address. We have, you come to our congregation at 10 in the morning. On, yeah. On the, on the vision. That's our phone number. Oh, yeah, but come learn. Come learn your history. Yeah. Be able to, because you you have to be able to do what we're doing. Because the more of us that are doing this, guess what? The faster we get to get up out of here. Right. But we're going to stay here as long as we keep on allowing sin to go on around us and not say anything. As long as we stand in sin ourselves. If we smoking, you smoke? That's a sin. You know that's a sin. What you mean that's it? That that's not that's not it. You killing yourself, right? Yeah, yeah. Right. So that's not cool. You put exactly. Why are you doing that? Let it go, man. It's just that easy. Let it go. It's a terrible habit that you got. You got any kids? You got seven kids. So what you teaching them about smoking? Right. Right. Exactly. Give me, give me Judah chapter 8 verse 24 Because You cannot do something You're saying it's okay Right If you're doing it You're saying it's okay Period Period point, point blank Now when they see it They're not going to look at it like Oh that's nasty My dad told me not to do it No My dad do it Now they want to try it We can't live like that because that's being a hypocrite. Because you'll tell them not to do it, though, right? Oh, I bet I ever catch y'all smoking. But I'm smoking. What? Do, do that make sense? Yeah, that, that's, sense? that's what I'm saying. You got it? Read. This is the book of Judah, chapter 8 and verse 24. Now, therefore, O brethren, let us show an example to our brethren, because their hearts depend on us, and the sanctuary and the house and the altar rest upon us. Read that again. Now, therefore, O brethren, let us show an example to our brethren. You have to show an example to your children, to your brethren, the people that you don't even know. They're watching you. Everybody is watching each other to see what you're really about. Everybody is watching. You, you're, not, you're not just living for you. You're living an example of what a person should be doing or not doing. And guess what? A lot of people are weak-minded and they follow that lead. Read. Because their hearts depend upon us. Their hearts, guess what? Your children's hearts and their mind depending on you to do the right thing. Bring it out. You understand that? They are depend. You have seven children. You think you have, you don't even have the money to afford to smoke. If you think about it, you got to be putting up money for their they, uh, education and everything else. Right? Right. Hey. All right, bro. Hey, look. Get in tune with us, though, man. Get yourself together. Tomorrow morning at 10, like you said. Not tomorrow morning. Saturday. All right, sis. I got a question for you. What do you think about what's going on in the neighborhoods over here? Hey, bro. Come deal with me. Yeah, you with the white shirt. Hey, brother. Both with the hat on. Come deal with me. So you heard this information before? You heard about it? So we are here trying to show you who you are according to the Bible. Your true nationality is an Israelite. We have lost our minds and our history. That's what happened. That's why our communities are the way they are. Because everybody is basically crazy because we lost our minds from living in chaos like the officer brought out. Living in drug-infested neighborhoods. Think that's normal? 
It's not normal, is it? Hey, brother. They don't care. They don't care. You care? Do you care? care? Well, come here. Let me let me see. Okay, let me ask you. What you doing about it? Huh? What you doing about it? Praying the Holy Okay, you gotta do more than pray, though. It ain't just about just praying. It takes action. You have to take action. You have to show yourself an example. Huh? First Samuel two and three, right? Perfect. First, but let me ask you. You saying they don't want to do nothing, right? But we all have to do each. It starts with each one of us. You understand? It's, you married? You got a girlfriend? So you buy you single? What about you? You single? So so we out here trying to show you. The importance of have you got any kids? No kids either? Well, you got any adults now? You got adults? You never had any kids? So we are here showing the importance of the family structure though. Because when you see in our community, we don't have a family structure, do we? No, our families are dilapidated. We have no mom and dad in the house. Nobody is raising the kids. The government is raising our kids. Single mamas is out here. Guess what? A lot of these kids is out here that's doing this stuff. What, what you think they are? No, exactly. Exactly the truth. But I'm saying, who the the most of these boys is out here doing this stuff? It come from what? Bro broken families, right? No, no, no. Because we grew up in chaos. When you think about it, the lot of stuff I saw as a kid, I did when I got older. I was raised with my mom and dad, but you still would do it. If you see stuff or you be raised around that stuff, That's it's acceptable, like I was saying. All, a lot of us, not just us, yeah, yeah. look at our community. If it was just up to us, it makes a difference. Yeah. Each one of us make a difference. Guess what? You're supposed to be a mentor to some younger men, some younger boys, so they can know how to live their life. Right, that's what we're supposed to be doing. Right, so that's what we're saying. Read, read what you got. This no, the hold on, hold on. This is the book of 1 Samuel, chapter 2 and verse 3. Talk no more so exceedingly proudly. Let not arrogancy come out of your mouth. So don't be talking proud like it's everybody else, because we all got to work on ourselves. You believe, in, you believe in the Bible? What it says, what did God say to do? He said we all got to be reborn, right? Everybody got to change. Everybody got to get their mind right. It's not nobody here that can be like, I'm good. What is a nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is 